eat today, Robin? Uh, eventually. I'll probably do more of an evening paint today. Really? Yeah. I've got a few day job projects I got to get done. Mm -hmm. Now, are you still doing graphic design with your own yes. company? Okay. Yes. It's, mm -hmm. What's it? Red? It's called Red and Red. Red Red Design. Red Red Design. Okay. Wow. wow. He's like, um, Chris Leeper also has the background in um, graphic design. So Robin does as well. Um, yeah, only he broke away from it and I didn't. So yeah. <laughs> I'm still doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. But he, yeah, he took up teaching more and, and you don't teach. Yeah. Okay. No. No, I've thought about starting to teach, but mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of teaching. Actually, I did some teaching of graphic design mm -hmm. as well. Right. Uh, I did not like doing that. Really? What, yeah. why did, what was the problem? Uh, the problem was they, they had told me that the students all already knew the design programs, and all I'd be doing is teaching actual graphic design. Mm -hmm. But on the first day, none of the, these, none of the students had ever heard of InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop. So I knew then I was in for a long semester because I wound up teaching software oh. use rather oh, than goodness. graphic design. Oh, what a disappointment! <laughs> and I don't, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm like, I, you know, I know the programs well enough to do key commands because mm -hmm. you know you get faster to doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing all the key commands, and these kids are all like, "What are you doing?" I only I, you know, so I had to like, I even had to think, okay, I'm not real sure where these things even are anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm having to go to the menus and search for them myself to even find, you know, mm -hmm. some of the some of the things that I was doing. So it was. It was not a good semester. Oh goodness! <laughs> and these guys were mostly—they were mostly juniors and seniors that were like, and the seniors were graduating mm -hmm. with graphic design degrees. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, this is bad. Well, I see we have Jackie joining us. So we have we have another student. Well, without Chris Leeper, I wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah, no, me oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I've been studying with him almost seven years and I'm a miniature artist also. And I belong to the um, miniature art society in DC and in Pennsylvania and uh, other ones, but, and then the oil painters of America, he encouraged me to uh, apply for that. And he said, you'll get in, you'll get in, <laughs> but uh, he, he's just wonderful. Yeah, he is. Wonderful. He's amazing with his work. Yes. Both both Robin and Chris are amazing, uh, among the best. I've seen your work, uh, Robin. I've seen your work on, on Facebook. You, it is amazing. And uh, I have a friend that lives in Mansfield, Mary Ann Clady. And, uh, she oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not but really Chris and I... that good at plain air. I'm trying to be. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> Chris and I uh, tend to room together when we have different oh. things going on, competitions and shows yeah. and things. So he's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun together. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Jackie, um, we can Hi. see you there. Hi. Good morning. Finally. I finally got in. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you have trouble getting in this morning? I always have trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking constantly, for messages. Constantly learning. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm kind of trying to monitor my phone for messages um, for people that can't get in for whatever reason, and um, hopefully we're not missing out on anybody. I haven't gotten a message yet. So. Hey, I'm proud of myself. I'm doing this without a grandchild to help me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had one. I wish I had one. <laughs> Even this six-year-old is amazing what he can do. Oh, I know. Born into it. <laughs> Well, I was telling Robin that we have a smaller class than usual. Um, hopefully a couple more of our artists will join in, but we'll go ahead and get started. I, Robin's um, donating his time to us today to talk to us. Um, Great. Jackie, Jackie Bryce is on here. She's one of our local artists and um, she's a little bit newer to painting. So I was telling Robin before everybody joined in that we've got quite a mix of people here. We have an art teacher, we've got a couple professionals, we've got some beginners. Um, yes. Have a good time together. 
I um, hope I learn. <laughs> Robin lives in Ashland, Ohio. Um, he's a member of the Ohio Plein Air Society and past president. He is a member of the Oil Painters of America and also the American Impressionist Society. He wow. is one of the finest artists in the state of Ohio. He has received national recognition and um, we're just pleased to have him with us today to share some inspiration. Yes, um, thank you. I, thank I think you, Robin. A little of that, and it always helps when we connect with artists who are at, at the top of their game. So, mm -hmm. Robin's just a really nice person, and again, one of the people I only see at the big shows. <laughs> <laughs> at the big um, shows. <laughs> anyway, he is. Um, he lives in Ashland, Ohio. He's a gra graduate of Ashland University, and I found out in, in doing a little research that he went there on a baseball scholarship. So, a cross wow. um person. Yes. Um, I, 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 I um, I'm going to pull up some of his um, recent paintings and and show them and show them to you. Let's see, where are we? Okay. We don't want to be in my inbox. <laughs> no, we want to be. Okay. Can you all see that one? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wow, nice. This is from the 2017 um, Ohio Plein Air competition. Um, and Mom and I just saw it immediately, and we were like, this is fabulous. Yes. Down a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, where are we? Oh, no. Mm, I lost my picture. Uh, down two more. There we go. No. Down one more. There we go. There it is. Okay. There. Yes. Mm -hmm. Robin, can you talk a little bit about this painting? I, I know you got two awards for it that year. Um, yeah, this one. This one was a lot of fun. We had this this year. Uh, Chris Leeper was actually the chair of this competition up in uh, Bay Village, mm -hmm. and um, he had a, he organized a party on Friday night at a at a gentleman's studio mm -hmm. in. Um, Trying to think of what part of Cleveland that was in. Tremont. Tremont, yeah, yeah. I can't think of who. Do you remember what whose studio that was? The, John Carlo was it? John Carlo, that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was mm -hmm. a. It was just you know he just opened up his studio to all the, to artists who wanted to come, and so you know there was wine and hors d'oeuvres and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we hung, we were hung, hanging around there for the longest time, and then. Uh, Chris said, "Hey, let's let's just hang around and do a plein air. We'll just go out front of the studio and and paint." Mm -hmm. So there were probably five or six of us that went out and painted that night. So this is a building that was across the street from his uh, studio, and wow. uh, it was on a Friday night, and there were a lot of bars there, so we had a lot of drunk people going by, and. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was one of those fun experiences that you have uh, painting plein air with a lot of, with with people with different people. Jeff Stoller was one of the guys that stayed there and painted, and uh, uh, who else? Oh, I mean, a few other people stayed, and um, yeah, this one just it was just it felt good. It just kind of fell right off of the uh, knife, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my it, this is all palette knife. Wow. Uh, painting there's wow. there's no brushwork in there mm -hmm. um and so yeah and it was purchased at the at the show so wow that was fast yes yeah. Yeah. one couple came out brought us out big glasses of wine and we were we were having fun this actually yeah. is in a uh, this is uh, I, this is in a show up in cleveland right now um mm -hmm. They made prints and they hung the prints. Um, oh all goodness. paintings of Tremont are like hanging on this on a fence up in Tremont. Wow. And it's a permanent display. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't gotten up there yet to actually see it. But. Mm -hmm. uh, this painting also, I'm going to flip back to me. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see, stop share. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 
this one also ended up in the plein air magazine <laughs> wow yeah, that yeah. mom mom saved the actual issue and it's just so cool um you had to be pleased with that um recognition and the prints and i didn't know the rest of the story about the prints and everything um so that's awesome i'm looking for the page i know i put the page up on facebook so people could see it but mm -hmm. um at any rate um yeah, this one ended up in Plein Air Magazine, um, the national magazine of outdoor painting. That's fantastic. You know, I, yeah. I know. I had a full, I had a full article written on me too by Plein Air oh. Magazine back in, I'm in the let's see, December of 2017 issue. I wow. think it is. Okay. You That's know, so impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Mom was getting the magazine at that point and still has it or not, but I love this magazine. It's just so beautiful and it has such inspiration in it. Yeah, it's well, it's well done. It's well done. Okay, so let's go back to share screen. Um, there's our photo. Oh, this is the show. Um, you had your own show in New Albany. Um, yeah. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that was, uh, I'm in a, this is the only gallery I'm in right now. Uh, it's Haley Gallery. It's in New Albany, Ohio, down in the Columbus area. Mm -hmm. And um, I've, I had only been in there for about a year and she offered me a show. So, um, yeah, so I had to come up with like 30 pieces. And, I, and keep in mind, I don't oh. paint full time. I'm, I'm, uh, I am uh -huh. do graphic design full time and I paint. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, I sell paintings too, but it's not what I do to make a living. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but this show was was quite successful, I think, for so you. So it took me a little bit to get thirty to put together, but it was, yeah. I, I ended up selling like fifteen of the pieces, I think it was. Oh, that's fantastic! Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It w I had a great opening night. The opening night sold twelve, so they only oh, sold three nice. more the rest of the month. But wow, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why uh, uh, Sedona, Arizona. Right. Mm -hmm. Took a trip to Phoenix actually for spring training baseball this year. And uh, <laughs> unfortunate, the unfortunate thing is I was 15 minutes from the first stadium that we uh, for the game we were going to and the whole thing was canceled. Uh, mm -hmm. So I didn't see a single baseball game there this year. Uh, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. but I got I got to go paint a lot. So mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, this is this was actually in, there. in Sedona, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a chapel there in Sedona that was just gorgeous, and uh, mm -hmm. I painted the interior. Mm -hmm. Wow, gorgeous! Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And this is a watercolor that you got juried into the Ohio Watercolor Society competition this year. Yep. Yeah, wow. and this one was, uh, I painted this two, well, a year, well, I painted this two years ago uh, in Bay Village. This is actually in the uh, uh, Rocky River, oh, okay. it's at the Rocky River Marina. They're just, they're <laughs> putting the, they have to take the docks out every year mm -hmm. in the river because of the ice flow. Mm -hmm. And so they were, this, we were up there early doing a paint out and uh, these guys were out putting the docks in. And so I had done this painting actually uh, in oil when I was there. <laughs> this looks and, just like uh, a photograph, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I liked it so much I ended up painting it in watercolor instead, and much Beautiful. larger. Mm -hmm. I actually have that like, setting back here behind me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's a lovely painting. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Congratulations for getting into the show too. I know how difficult right. that is. Thanks, yeah. Yeah, I actually had tried. I, I, I haven't painted a lot of watercolor recently. I've been doing more oil work, mainly because my gallery won't take watercolors. Oh. So, wow. you know, with preparing for that show, which was just in November, mm -hmm. um, I had to concentrate on oils for a, quite a while to yes. get that show put together. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. in January, I pretty much, uh, in January, I had done a, um, uh, I decided I was going to paint outside every, every day. So mm -hmm. I, I did this thing through the month of January where I, I did at least one plein air piece every day and mm -hmm. sold it for a hundred dollars, mm -hmm. uh, which is like 75% off of my normal pricing for those 
paintings. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was pretty successful too. I ended up selling 21 of the 30 paintings. Wow. So yeah. you sold. So That's you great. Some daily painting. What's that? You took a cue from the woman who wrote the book Daily Painting because I think that's yeah, what you're yeah daily right. painting for hundred dollars. Well, yeah, there's there's a lot of people in January that do that. Uh, oh, it's a, there's like a an easel company mm -hmm. that that does a you know a competition where mm -hmm. paint every do the daily painting, and mm -hmm. then you get into the drawing for the easel. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do the easel thing, but. I, I kind of did take my cue from that and decided I was going to do a painting every day, at least, through January. I saw some of those. They looked bitter cold. Oh. Yeah, it was, yeah, there was times when I was like, why did I say I was going to do this in plein air? I could have just done a daily painting. <laughs> Instead, I, did it, I said I was going to do plein air. So I actually did. I went out. Wow. Uh, there was mm -hmm. one painting I did. It, uh, it only took me about... 35 minutes because it was so cold. Uh -oh. I'm, like, mm -hmm. I'm just getting this thing done and getting out of here. Mm. Um, you were also recently featured in Outdoor Painter. Um, and that, that was a great article. That's um, where I drew a lot of, I'm gonna go ahead and share the um, link for that. If you want yeah, that's, to it. And that's the article that was, that article was actually in the magazine. Okay, okay. And then they just, they every once in a while they, put it back out there on that outdoor painter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go, I'm going to share this in the chat box. Okay. For our, and we picked up Tim Williams. Hi, Tim. Good morning. Glad you could join us. Um, Tim may be at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and share also. Hi there, Sherry. I had my mic muted. Sorry about that. Good morning, Tim. Morning. Good morning. Join Good morning. Um, there's um, Robin's website, um, robinrobertsfineart.com. Um, you can see more of his work and read a little more about his experiences and awards and all that. Because it's, it's a long, let me tell you what. Robin, what plans do you have for the rest of the year? As far as I'm shows? sorry, what was that? What plans do you have for the rest of the year as far as shows and different things? Yeah, pretty much nothing. Everything's been canceled. So, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I actually, I was in, I think I'd gotten in like five competitions this year, which mm -hmm. I love doing the competitions, uh, plein air mm -hmm. uh, competitions. They house you, um, you know, they feed you most of the week. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's great camaraderie with other artists. And mm -hmm. um, I never win awards at any of these things. Um, <laughs> I'm not a Chris. Chris Leeper wins awards at everything he does. Wow. Um, I don't. I, I never win awards at these things. But I always sell well. So, you know, to me, that's a that's a win. That's, that's a good one. one. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and they're a heck of a lot of fun. And, you know, the, the great thing for me right now is I'm not doing this for a living. So, um you know, if I'm not winning the $5,000 first prize, it doesn't matter that much to me, but mm -hmm. I do enjoy selling, you know, who doesn't? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I was supposed to do, I was supposed to be in uh, Paint Grand Traverse again this year. I did that one last year and it's mm -hmm. uh, mid-August. It was canceled. Wow. Uh, um, uh, Mountain Maryland was canceled. I was supposed to do that one. Uh, there's one in Knoxville, Tennessee called uh, Artist Sun Location. That was canceled as well. Uh, so, so far, it's been a tough, tough year as far as competitions go because they're all canceled. Uh -huh. Now, the good okay. news is I'm in all of them for next year uh, mm -hmm. automatically, so I don't have to re get re in. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's nice. Um, mm -hmm. So far, the Ohio Plein Air Society sh competition is still on, but... Yeah, we're still <laughs> we're still kind of waiting to see what's going to happen with that one too. Yeah. And Mainly, we're trying to the 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 show is at the the whole thing is being done through the uh, Columbus College of Art and Design, and they haven't made a decision whether they're going to go back into session or not in the fall. So hmm. uh, um, that's going to be a big th factor, is because if they don't open, we don't have a building to operate yeah, out of. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
one piece of inspiration I, I read in the article was that you went to your first competition in Easton back in 2010. And um, that was to it, and then you get there and it's like, oh my. <laughs> that was that was kind of funny because I had just I had only started painting in 2008. And mm -hmm. um, and, and I and I when I started painting, it was plein air. I got introduced to plein air right away. Mm -hmm. And I loved it because it got me out of the office. Um, Back then, I had 10 employees uh, in my graphic design studio, so um, it was going very well, and I just was looking for a, an outlet, some way to get out of, this, mm -hmm. of the office. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I was reading a lot about plein air competitions and people that were painting in plein air and all that, and found out about this plein air Easton. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna try I'm going to go just to experience a national event. And then I thought, well, why not just try to get in to the thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got in. So wow. I, I go there and this is how pathetic this was. I, I, I even get uh, an email like a week before we were supposed to go and from the housing people saying, you know, you're in a, and I mean, some of these places they put you, I was in a, I was in a uh, two bedroom cottage right on the 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 main like rivers that are right there in east oh, uh -huh. oh it was such a beautiful location and a beautiful place so anyway, it was a two-bedroom place so they said can can someone else share that cabin with you and i was like yeah that's fine i don't i don't mind they said okay well his name is ned mueller and mm -hmm. at that time i didn't know who ned mueller is and maybe maybe you guys don't know him either but mm -hmm. he's like he's like the granddaddy of plein air painting <laughs> um, wow. I found wow. out. I found out. You know, he comes in and he's he's like seventy at that time. That was back Ooh. in two thousand ten, and uh -huh. he's still painting. He's still going strong. Oh, he God. won best of show that year. That's how oh, good it is. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, so that whole week was like a it was like a workshop for me because we'd go back to the cabin at night and critique each other's work. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Critiquing his work. Great. <laughs> so. It was a lot of fun. He introduced me, you know, he took me pretty much under his wing and he introduced me to a lot of uh, people, you know, mm -hmm. the plein air artists that I had only been reading about. The mm -hmm. funny thing is I even called my wife and I was like, you wouldn't believe who I just had beers. <laughs> and, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. But I did figure out very early that I was not ready for that level of competition, no. even though you know, here's the uh, the other funny thing about that is you you can put uh, three pieces on the wall at a time. You know, mm -hmm. obviously in a week of painting, I did like nine paintings mm -hmm. um, that I turned in, mm -hmm. and so I had three paintings on the wall to start. You can rotate them throughout the week, so I rotated in another three, and then when I go to pick them up at the end of the end of the week, I'm thinking I hadn't sold anything because everything was still on the wall. Well, mm -hmm. I ended up selling the three pieces that I never put out. Uh, ah! So, uh, you know, I, 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 either I'm just a really bad judge of my own work, mm -hmm. um, or they just thought that those were cheap, so that they were, they were better. <laughs> they loved it. They loved it. So, so I still sold well, but I was definitely not ready for that level of competition. So. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what that article was about, is how I got into this thing and then mm -hmm. realized I shouldn't have been there. Mm -hmm. So you should have been there, and uh, I'm sure it was a great experience. And if you, have any, um, you learned a lot. If you have any competitive yeah. spirit at all, you, once you're around better painters, I, I think, or people more, I won't say better painters, more experienced um, mm -hmm. yeah. in the ball game, you know, like, oh, I can improve. I can, I can do this. Yeah. Um, it was I good to learn. It was a good learning experience. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to let you get back to work today. <laughs> All right. But thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us. Yeah. Uh, yes. You're welcome to stay with us if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, well, unfortunately, I've got a deadline on a graphic design okay. project, so <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, leave well, this. Thank you. Okay. Go it's so nice meeting computer. you. All right. Yes. Nice meeting you guys, too. Yeah. Thank you. Class. Thank I you. To see you in Columbus, Robin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope we can get together. <laughs> go paint. Or I'm like, hoping to still go out and get you know get people together and go paint, whether we mm -hmm. actually do the competition or not. So we'll see. Right. Well, mm -hmm. keep you posted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Yep. Bye. <laughs>